hello friends welcome back once again after a very long time i'm making this video uh, i'm extremely sorry for the discontinuity and uh, thank you for the all supports and all your messaging texting everything thank you very much and now uh, let's study geometric sequence because in previous time i think we have learned a lot about the arithmetic progression so after learning arithmetic progression we are ready to learn geometric sequence right and before learning geometric sequence let me remind you a little bit about the arithmetic sequence right in arithmetic sequence what we have learned if you have any sequence like 2 4 6 8 10 and so on so any sequence to be an arithmetic sequence arithmetic sequence we had one condition that the difference between any two term one succeeding and preceding term should be always constant so here difference between the second term this 4 and the uh, first term 2 is 2 and here also the difference between the third term and the second term is here too and again here the difference between the fourth term and the second term sorry third term is two here again the difference between the fifth term and the fourth term is two so everywhere uh, in previous time uh, what we had learned that to be arithmetic sequence the common difference or the, dif the difference between any two terms uh, succeeding and preceding term should be constant and here if you go in, in entire uh, sequence you will get the common difference too right so now uh, let's learn about the geometric sequence. It's also a little bit like uh, arithmetic sequence, but a little bit differences there are. So let's talk. Suppose uh, I have a sequence um, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on. Okay. So here uh, let me suppose this is my A1. A1 that is first term, second term, third term, fourth term and the fifth term right now uh, what I'm watching here that if I'm multiplying this first term by 2 I'm going to get second term and again it's looking like if I'm going to multiply the second term by 2 again then I'm going to get the third term and again it is looking like that if I multiply the third term by 2 I'm going to get the fourth term and again if I multiply the fourth term by the 2 I'm going to get the fifth term right so everywhere I'm I'm going to multiply by the fixed constant number and then I'm going to get the succeeding term everywhere I'm multiplying the preceding term suppose 8 and by the constant number that is 2 I'm going to get the succeeding term that is 16 and same thing applies throughout this sequence right let me take one more example suppose I have 3 and uh, 9 27 81 right and so on okay so here what we are watching that if I'm going to multiply this first term by 3 I'm going to get the second term and again if I multiply the second term by 3 I'm going to get the third term and if I multiply the third term by again 3 right everywhere I'm multiplying by the 3 then I'm going to get the fourth term and so on again one more one more example I want to write here suppose I have a uh, thousand okay and uh, here is hundred here is ten here is one right um, you can write 1 by 10 or whatever right so here what I'm watching that if I'm going to multiply this first term by 1 by 10 I'm going to get this hundred that is second term and again if I'll multiply this second term by 1 by 10 I'm going to get the third term and if I'll multiply this third term by 1 by 10 again I'm going to get the fourth term and so on like this so now uh, from these examples what we can conclude that uh, if we have the first term a then our second term will be a that is first term times certain constant number that is r so here r is certain constant number that is multiplying the first term and we're getting the second term again if we want to write the third term then we need to multiply the second term by certain constant number the same constant number which is r again right and again if you want to write the fourth term then what you have to write we have to write first the third term that is a r square because a r time r that is a r square and we need to multiply this uh, third term by the same constant number that is r and again if you want to write the fourth fifth term then you need to first write the fourth term that is a r cube and again you have to multiply the same fourth term by the same constant number that is r right so overall what we can say that our sequence is going to be a comma a r comma a r square that is third term and our fourth term is a r three right then a r four a times r five a times r six and so on 
this is our sequence and such types of sequence is always and always called geometric geometric sequence or progression right all the progressions are sequence but all the sequence are not progression right uh, in this level uh, we, we can say geometric progression also don't worry so now uh, I want to summarize it uh, at one line if the ratio of succeeding term over the preceding term is constant is constant that is R then that is called a geometric sequence right the succeeding term over the preceding term that is n plus one term divided by nth term if this is so anywhere if you get it like this that the uh, ratio of the succeeding term over the preceding term is same that is n plus one term over the nth term is always and always r if you are getting anywhere then that should be a geometric sequence right suppose I'm going to take another example like uh, this is 4 and another term second term is 16 and third term is 64 and fourth term is uh, 256 and so on suppose this is my sequence then what I'm getting here uh, everywhere I told you that the ratio of n plus one term over the nth term that is ratio of the succeeding term over the preceding term should be always constant so here our succeeding term is 256 and preceding term is 64 suppose I'm taking this two, right this is n plus one term that is uh, that is third term and third uh, suppose n equals to three this right here n equals to three then n plus one term n plus one term over the nth term right n plus one term that is three plus one right three plus one term over the third third right third term so it is fourth term over the third term is now here fourth term is here 256 and here it is 64 so if you cut it what you'll get 64 times 4 is 256 so what you get you get 4 again if if n equals to 2 here right suppose this one then n plus 1 term that is 2 plus 1th term over 2th term that is second term right tooth term you can write it second term so two two plus one that is third term over the second term you will get again the same thing you should get that is 64 divided by 16 and yes 64 divided by 16 is again right exactly 16 times 4 equals to 64 so what you get here whether you are taking n equals to 3 n equals to 2 whatever you take every time you'll get the, the ratio after uh, dividing the succeeding by the preceding term you'll get the constant right this is this r is called the common ratio this r is called common ratio i think i have already mentioned common ratio you should get a fixed ratio that is called common ratio whenever you divide any preceding term any succeeding term by the preceding term in an in a geometric sequence right so this is all about geometric sequence and in next video well we are going to learn the properties of geometric sequence right so we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye